uh, we go to Sylvia Kershaw. Um, I will present to you a very heartfelt work, uh, very nocturnal, uh, but a little bit mystique because of the choice of um, the layers and the nuances that Sylvia has decided to throw in here, uh, which is not unusual, but is very originally done. And there are, uh, frankly speaking, some unusual layers in there that kind of lead you to think that way, but they're not so well-defined or so strong, so to speak, so then one can be sure of it. Uh, the work is called Autumn's Capitulation. Uh, Sylvia Kershaw is from uh, Ontario, Canada. Um, and uh, according to Sylvia's uh, words, this small acrylic piece, once completed, gave me a sense of sadness that another beautiful season has passed. The waters are now colder, the sky is heavier, the day's light is, uh, is, is, is waning, the view through the grasses is a wistful for a warmer, happier time. Um, you know, the first element that came in touch with uh, my, my, uh, my muse is absolutely the nocturnal uh, face of it. And then melancholy is uh, for sure present uh, because the angle from which you focused it with, uh, uh, with, the, with the plants in the forefront to kind of get in the way of it, you know, it really expresses some type of melancholy or, or nostalgia as, as to say that do not enjoy the entire clear picture, but have some uh, have some uh, worrisome in there or have some reminiscence in there. We're on your way. There's memories, there's thoughts and um, uh, images in front of you. And then, but what I really fell in love with, and I, I think what, what really makes this work unique and absolutely strong is uh, that layer of redness or, or reddishness that you poured across the hills or the mountains, across the, the water. And I think that is what really seals its fate or seals its, its personality. Um, I will play this nocturnal piece, uh, but very somber as um as you have described it here because i i definitely got that vibe from your work um and i and i hope you'll enjoy it sometimes uh nostalgia makes you happy uh, for things that you've lived
Sylvia, I, I hope I was able to capture the atmosphere that you've tried to create in here or that you've really concluded after you did your piece. But uh, uh, aside from everything that I said, um, you know, I wrote this piece and I dedicated it to it uh, for the fact that everything else passes but the vibe that this one that you've created here delivers remains. And when you listen to the music, it's that strong theme that really it's aimed directly to the mountains and the hills that stay there as the skies and the clouds move along with uh, wind that kind of goes through the, uh, the sticks and the grasses and about the water. <laughs> When you hear this theme, I want you to look at those mountains and uh, just uh, as, uh, as and see as they stand stoically uh, to create the gravity through which everything passes through, but uh, that one remains. And it's a uh, it's a wonderful feeling. That's I f I feel that that's the peak of your uh, of your work. Uh, thank you so much. It's a uh, it's a unique feeling that this uh, this this work transmits, and I enjoyed it uh, completely.